hey youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel so it is another day of vlogtober and guess what we are going to be doing a iphone 13 pro unboxing okay okay <laughs> i'm done <laughs> stay tuned all right guys so my iphone 13 pro was just delivered a couple of minutes ago and it took about two weeks to get my phone so i pre-ordered it on the day that it actually came out and which was what uh september did it come out on september 24th or was it 28th whatever day it came out for you to pre-order i pre-ordered it on that day and i just received it but i heard that um for some reason the iphone um pros or the iphone pro maxes um if you got the one terabyte of storage it was taking longer than the other iphone 13s to get so i got the iphone 13 pro in the color gold and i got the one terabyte of storage so let's get the unboxing okay guys so let's open up this box so those of you guys, you probably already know if you've been following Apple and the new iPhone that just came out. That the new iPhone Pro Max and the iPhone Pro, if you got one terabyte of storage, they run you about $14.99 or whatever. But girl, who paying $14.99 for a phone? I don't I would like to see it never pay full price for a phone i will never even pay half the price for a phone okay so what i do is i just um exchange my current phone for my new phone and that pretty much was like a a even swap i don't really have to come out the pocket for anything but for the i team pro because i got the one terabyte of storage i literally only had to come out the pocket for like 200 dollars like and it's not even 200 dollars at one time so ooh. Look, I'm already messing up. So, here is the phone. Here's the gold. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty. Look at that. I love that. It's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that camera space. I mean, not camera space, but look at that camera. And, ooh. <gasps> Oh snap, look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. So I got some accessories off of um Amazon. And um child even I turn the phone on. Um so I got some accessories off of Amazon. Are you dumb? <laughs> Amazon. I got the phone case, a clear phone case off of Amazon. And then um I bought what else I do? What else did I buy? So I didn't buy the block yet because I was like, is it really worth buying a block when they said that the regular iPhone chargers, the regular iPhone cords that you've been had for the other iPhones work for the phone? The lady at AT&T was like, oh, you can still use your same charger, but it's not going to charge up your phone fast, fast like the new block would. I'm like, are you trying to trick me? Are you trying to just sell me some shit? So we'll see. We'll see. So... This is what it looks like coming on. You can't see that. Let me turn the camera a different way, okay? All right, I think that's much better. Now you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. So I'm trying to set up my phone. So the reason why I got the one terabyte is because my iPhone 11 kept telling me I was out of storage like a whole year ago. I had 64 gigabytes of storage and with YouTube and me like screenshot and a thousand like screenshots off of Pinterest and Instagram. It just, I, my phone would stop working. It would not even let me bring up any apps, save any pictures. I can't do anything on my phone. So I had to, um, what's my password? What is my, Lord, what is my, um, my internet password i have no idea it was asking for something i don't know there's so many passwords like ugh, just let me do what i need to do let me see it is might just be And 
that was it. So that's that. And then next, oh, I'm supposed to be showing y'all, right? So let's see what's, I seen online on other YouTube videos that I should be able to just put my phone side to side and it should like do what it needs to do, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to set up face ID. Let's set up face ID. So, we've got to tilt our head. Position my face. Move iPhone a little lower, okay? Bruh. Get it together. I should have got this set up in the um daggone thing. In the store. Oh, there we go. Tilt my head. You know you gotta do this like two times. Whoop whoop. Now you gotta set up a passcode for your phone. Uh oh. Continue. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Okay. Larry, what's going on here? Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, we are in Trader Joe's to see what kind of seasonal things they have going on right now. So, let's check it out. Nobody wants this. No, nobody wants that. We're looking for the seasonal items, okay? Pumpkin spice. Huh? Let's see the pumpkin spice. Ooh, pumpkin spice coffee. Pumpkin spice coffee. Four ninety nine. Oh, they got this pumpkin spice. I think this is tea, herbal blend, and then they have this pumpkin spice dark roast. Ooh, and ooh, autumn maple coffee cups. I think these are like the K cups up here. Ooh. I'm not much of a coffee drinker. Ooh, look at this. Spicy chai, tea latte mix. That sounds good. Guys, these are not seasonal. This is not a seasonal item, but I was looking at this. Look, this mango 100% juice smoothie. I'm gonna try this out. It's $2.99. It has, what does it have? Why aren't you focusing? Okay, mango puree blended with fruit juices and purees and added ingredients. Mm, this sounds good. I want to try this out. And then they also have a banana and almond butter one. I think that's more like a, um, uh, it's more like a protein shake drink. I don't really like protein drinks. Let me see. So it has, let's see what it has. It has protein smoothie beverage with coconut water and pea protein. Nah. I feel like po protein drinks is real gritty. Ooh, look at that. Orange strawberry banana juice. I might have to try that out. Let's see if go with this cart. CJ, where do you go with this cart? I want to try that out too. I like Trader Joe's yogurt. We had this yogurt last time. It was so good. This banana and cream yogurt. We're going to get that too. That was good actually. I'm going to get that. Okay, guys, so I found me some more seasonal items. Look at this Trader Joe apple tart. Rustic apple tart. Ooh, that looks pretty good. 
And look at this. I've seen this on somebody else's um, YouTube page. Pumpkin ice cream. Ooh. Pick one of those. And then it have like a pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin empanadas. I wonder how these pumpkin empanadas would taste. Let me see, spiced pumpkin filling in a traditional flaky pastry. I don't know. It sounds like it's maybe like a fried pumpkin pie. Like they made it a sweet empanada. I don't know about that. Pumpkin waffles. Pumpkin waffles. And, ooh. Spiced pumpkin samosa. Hmm, let me know if you try these. Spiced pumpkin in a paneer filling wrapped in a crisp flaky pastry. Hmm. And butternut squash mac and cheese bites. And pumpkin bits. If you like soup and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh guys, look at these cookies. These pumpkin flavored JoJo's. They're cute. These might taste actually good. Let me see how much of these. How much are these? Uh, oh, two forty nine. Pumpkin flavored JoJo, two forty nine. Oh, guys, look what I found. Some jerk style plantain chips. Oh, wow, that's different. I wonder how much. I mean, how that would taste. Yeah, but that's not like nothing new. Plantain chips. But look at the jerk style plantain chips. Hmm. That's different. I don't really like spicy. I like jerk chicken, but I don't really like real spicy food. So guys, we found the pumpkin spice espresso beans that I wanted to try. Have you guys ever tried this? Focus camera, focus. So let me go ahead and show you what we decided to get on our Trader Joe's trip. So I decided to get this orange strawberry banana juice. And then I decided to get these breaded fried ravioli. I decided to try this mango juice smoothie. And then I got these two yogurts, blueberry and then vanilla cream, and then banana cream and strawberry. And then we also got the um, pumpkin waffles and the pumpkin cheesecake along with the pumpkin spice espresso beans. So, all right guys, so we are back home and I wanna show you some of the things that we picked up from Walmart and Ollie's. So we got this from Ollie's for Christmas season. Um, isn't that cute, merry and bright? This is our Christmas theme like area. I love this pattern for Christmas. And we got the um, table mats. And let me see how much they were. So these towels was $2.59. And the placemats was $1.59. Then we got these Halloween pajamas. And they were, how much were these? Oh, $13. Well, $12.95, which is $13. And we got these from Walmart. We got matching pajama sets. And then we got these candles from Walmart. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. We got it in pumpkin spice. And they're um, one wick candles. I can't get it. I can't get the top off, but. And then we also got juicy watermelon. It smells so good. Both of these were $7.97 a piece. And what else did we get? Um, that's pretty much all we got from Walmart. We didn't really see nothing else that we needed. And the other stuff we got, we got groceries. All right, so I will see you guys later. All right, guys, so we just got back home again. We have dropped my mama off. And so we went to Mission Barbecue tonight for dinner. And let's see what we got to eat. So I got the brisket sandwich with the macaroni and cheese and the baked beans. They got... The pulled pork sandwich with the um, macaroni cheese and baked beans. And then they gave us some sauces. We got some tangy barbecue sauce and some sweet barbecue sauce. So we are about to grub and we're going to call it a night. 
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right? And we will see you tomorrow. Okay? All right. Well.